All right, recording again. We're at 6083 Dragonfly. I'm in the kitchen. The kitchen has mid-range colored wood cabinets, black granite. Here's the pantry for you, Sarah, which you can walk into, which I'm doing right now. So it shelves at a 90 degree angle. They have four sets of shelves installed with room on the floor. Some of the rest of the kitchen area. There's your microwave and the stove. They're stainless steel. And let's see. I'm going out here into what's probably the breakfast nook area. On into the Florida room from the breakfast nook. Which all of these measure about 24 by 14, 25 by 14. This is carpeted. Leads out onto the slab in the backyard area. And there's a skinny strip of brown grass and then sand, dirt. And then there's some type of a tree space between you and the next street, which is okay. There may be a creek there. We haven't investigated that yet. Well, you don't have a deep lot at the back, but you sure do on the front. Let's see. Here's the bath that's full size off the Florida room. It's the living room and fireplace. Back around in the hallway to that other bathroom. I just did a loop. This would probably be like third bedroom. Looking out on the back. Back to the living room to go over to the hallway where the other bedroom is. No, this is like second and third bathroom bedroom, sorry. With the bath between. And these are tile floors. Nice tile from 12 to about 18 inch tile in the kitchen. And these are Formica countertops. They're not granite here at this address. Seems to be a variant from house to house. This would be another bedroom that would, this looks out onto the front. So out onto Dragonfly Way. And the other houses across the street. And the front yard. And you have your arched window. I'm going back out into the hallway between the second and third bedroom. Back to the living room. This is kind of the different arched or lowered soffit around the kitchen. Kitchen area. Going out to the front door. Arch doorway. And over into the, well, I don't know, they could either one of them poses a dining area, but den office area off the front yard. This is your style of ceiling fan. Yeah, and this is the other real comparable, but this would be your dining area because it's up the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to walk back through the kitchen area to the 
master suite. There's Dad. Oh, garage. John wanted a picture of the garage. Talk about it. Great, uh, John, you wanted to see how they got into the attic above the garage. Right here is the pull-down ladder and all. And this is a three-car, but he was taking pictures out for you to see how short the driveway is and turning your cars into here. It's a good, tight 90-degree turn. Oh, mm -hmm. closet and laundry room, sorry. Let me go this way. Let me go ahead. I'm walking through the kitchen to the master bedroom, which is quite large. Oh, that turned out the fan. Again, its windows face out to the back. Here's your raised ceiling area. Don't know what they call it here. No additional lighting on it, but they painted their trim so it accents it. And in I go to the master bath which has two walk-in closets, one large one. This is probably for the guys closing. Yeah, right. And one smaller one. And for all the leftovers. And there's your oops, light bright right there. Garden tub. Can't get it because there we go. The light from the window with the window above it. And shower. And toilet opposite the shower. Two sinks. Full mirror. Again, this is for Micah. Looks like same wood as in the kitchen. Don't know what kind of wood. This is a larger tile, but it's a good quality tile. This is probably 18 inch tile.